Hey everyone, we are back the next morning and it's nice and early. Both of the beavers are still here. One of them took off, I don't know where it is. This one right here, you see he's swimming away right back there. I just uploaded earlier today a couple shorts of this. I just got down in there and got this thing semi-open from the land without getting in the water. And I'm realizing this beaver, he'll keep doing a bunch of warning splashes, but he won't come within a certain distance of me. So I think we're gonna try to get this open. And I'm also realizing I might be able to pull the chain that they have here for the excavator if I can get a little bit of that weight off. When I arrived here, that dam was a bit higher than it was yesterday. There's evidence here from other uncloggings right there from people. There's also evidence this was over two feet higher next to the road. From what you guys saw last night, we got a little bit of flow going. It's going considerably more than it was. And based on how slow the pond is actually rising, it would take them a long time to get this thing even up to the road. I'm just having a little trouble right here with one hand setting this tripod up. We're just going to get camera number two going. I want to give it a try. We're definitely going to improve it, if anything. So we got camera number two right now. Woo! All right, camera number two is on. So now I want to see. So this, these beavers, I think by this evidence in the muddy area I'm parked in, they had this road flooding at some point, but they graded it, I think. I don't know how long they've been a problem, but the trapper, it's almost certain the trapper is gonna be coming out here. They just had to have set up a trapper to come out. So you guys are almost certainly gonna see the beaver coming near me while I do this. I was just down in there picking at that for like five minutes. The beaver, once I get in the water, the beaver will start coming over near me. But I feel better about it in the daytime than I did last night. That's why I stuck around. Remember everybody, this is only for water reduction purposes. It's entering the pond so slow that it'll buy the road time. They're literally gonna be able to plug this thing back up in no time. It's so small. Someone's coming. That, maybe, nope, not. Maybe I'm making too many splashes for the beaver to come over. Let's see, how deep is this? What's this even attached to? I don't know. It might not be a great, I'm not sure. There's too much stuff on it to get it up yet, but we got a lot of flow so far. attached to Oh, it's a great, it's just further down than I thought it would have been. And my butt's wet.
So the pipe is way out here. That was just going backwards into the grate. The grate's touching this. That's why I can hear water transferring through this. The sound. Ah, that stinks. There's so much garbage against that. Yeah, we scared those beavers away, it seems. Maybe I can. Oh, we got, we did something there. We got a little whirlpool too. How far does this thing go? What's that? What is this?
I see now. That's what it is. Give me a minute, guys. All right, I got down to the grate, everyone. I'm gonna try to rip it off. I gotta back up. I'm gonna, just gonna try to rip it off. I'm not using the winch, because that's a pain in the butt. So I'm just gonna back up to this point and maybe we can do that. Try to get this done before a car or something comes because I am blocking the road a little bit. Maybe get you guys a little further away. Strong that I spun my wheel? <laughs> what the? Try four wheel drive. see some current what the heck was that did we break the grate it's just a piece of rebar anyways no I, I think I don't know We loosened it though. Ah. Call it a day. Not happening.
I'm not happy that I had to ruin a toe strap. We tightened that thing up so much that we had to cut it. Couldn't get the knot out after like 10 minutes of trying. This is one of the nice reflective ones too. Like I mentioned last night, I didn't have those, I think they're called knuckles or whatever, that goes through this then tightens. And if you, it's somehow tightened up, you just use a wrench to undo it. Didn't have them because I stayed out here last night. Didn't go back to town to pick up any supplies. So I'll have to pick up another one of these. I always carry one of these because I, one time I got stuck, so many people offered to pull me out, but no one had these. So look at this. The excavator would have had the same result. If they would have pulled their chain, it would have been the same exact thing because it was literally a rebar grid, which those are just tack welded. They're not meant to be structural until they're in the concrete. So that would have failed either way. You see, two wheel drive didn't work. Four wheel drive spun a little bit, but it worked. At first I was wondering, what is that bump, 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 bump? I was worried it was breaking something on the truck. It wasn't. It was it snapping each piece of weld on the cheap rebar. Rebar works good for this, but not as a permanent solution. And it's, it's not a permanent solution. They're going to get rid of these guys. And you can see the beaver's back. Look at him right over there. The beaver's back just waiting for me to go away. As soon as I go away, they're going to clog this thing right back up. It doesn't look like much, but we actually got a good amount open. So like I said water drawdown purposes there's barely anything entering the swamp so if i hang around here which i'm gonna for like an hour or two not letting the beaver build back that'll get that water down a lot that's a small pond and look there's a good amount of current coming out of there here's what the other side looked like before and here's what it looks like now pretty good amount Alrighty. Well, I guess next time we won't do that unless it's a real, actual grate. That thing was a piece of garbage rebar. <laughs> it, there was, no, uh, yeah, right my, now my back hurts a little bit. There was no way I was ripping that out by hand. Even uh, the truck couldn't pull it out. Nothing would have pulled that out without breaking it. There's so much debris through the rebar and it was big rebar with I think the four inch holes and yeah beavers stuck stuff right through that because if they didn't stick it right through that if it had really small holes it would have wouldn't there wouldn't have been enough resistance and we would have got it right up it's because there's stuff jammed through it into the pipe look the beaver's right there see him he's he's right there see the air bubbles he's releasing is he gonna come right up here with us? Which way is he going? He's, I think he's sitting right under the water, unless we see more bubbles somewhere else. I think he's moving away. I just saw a few there. He's moving that way, I think. Oh, right there. You can hold the breath a while. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. Let this draw down for a while. That was an interesting one. Awesome. And for anyone who wants to say it in the comments, I'm not worried at all about getting in trouble for that. Not one bit. Because this area here, the park rangers have caught me doing this so many times. They know exactly what I do out here. And they, they don't have a problem with it. Because they know that the activities we do out here are saving these roads by hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now this beaver is just going to keep circling. While we were splashing in the water, that must have scared him. But just being out for 10 minutes trying to get that thing off the car before I had to cut it, beaver felt comfortable enough coming right back over. I don't know if I mentioned the reason I gave up with digging in front of it is because the grater, this grate was put in there before the last time it was graded. Maybe you can tell there's sand blocking like three quarters of it. All right, we're gonna head out now.
least it's nice and chilly out this morning. Still in four-wheel drive, we don't need that. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.